Hey YouTube, uh, you guys on YouTube. This is Benny Fox 007, age 28 years old. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to direct this video to those who are in special education around the nation in, in, in high school. This video is very important to me and it's very important to you guys. And I want your teachers to see this. I'm going to keep curse words out of it. Uh, I deleted my last video, my, my first take, because I had too much foul language in it. Uh, I'm going to start here. No matter what grade you're in, you better learn this very quick. Um, when you get done with your classes, you, say you're a senior, you're done with your classes, you get, you did all your courses in high school, got all your credits, and say you are in special education. Maybe you got dyslexia or you got some type of disability, learning disability especially. Um, your parents are not going to tell you this, the school ain't going to tell you this, but you're more likely going to be put on welfare. Depending on how severe your disability is. And when you're on welfare, you're going to be stuck in your house. You're not going to be able to be allowed to go out unless you go out and get your check at the beginning of the month and get your groceries and pay your bills. And then you're going to be stuck in the house for the rest of the month. And then you're going to go broke and then you're going to go hungry. And guess what? When you go hungry, you know what, you know what happens? you got to go accept handouts from churches by going to food banks, food pantries, and they don't give you enough for maybe even a day. And some of that stuff is outdated or the produce they give you is rotten. I would not recommend going to a food pantry. I would try to go for food stamps, see if you qualify. Don't go to food banks because you don't know what you get. And these food items are donated by people throughout the uh, throughout the uh, state of Indiana, uh, throughout the state wherever uh, you guys are. I didn't mean to say state of Indiana. Uh, that's where I live. Um, yes, I want you guys to graduate. I want you guys to get your diplomas or certificate of completion. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell anybody on this video to drop out of school. But my opinion, I wish I did. <laughs> I wish I did. If I knew what kind of life I was going to have, and let me tell you, I'm a former special education student. I graduated in 2007. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go into details about my life. <clears throat> but I want you administrators throughout the nation in every school, I mean every high school, to hear me. Your special needs kid is not going to have a life. <laughs> this society is segregating uh, disadvantaged, disabled students just like it did in 1960, 1960s uh, in their own homes. We had institutions that got closed down, but they're still doing the same, the same thing by keeping us trapped in poverty and keeping us trapped in our own homes. There's no mental health about it. Uh, these, uh, you're going to be trapped in your house. You're not going to be able to go out and make any extra income by means of going out and getting a small job. These kids are going to be put on welfare by you know, however much they get is however much they get. And if, if they apply for food stamps, they probably won't get much on food stamps because, from what I heard, food stamps have been cut off. I mean, cut down. <clears throat> the government is in for themselves. They're supporting all the rich folks here in this nation. The 1% the where the percentage is on the wealthy, the, the upper class and the middle class. The lower class and those who are disabled, such as your students, and I feel like the you special education teachers need to start telling your students what's going to happen after after graduation. I, I think the curriculum needs to change these change in these schools to teach these special needs kids of what to expect when they graduate. The world is not going to be nice to them. Uh, it's like a Pac-Man maze out there. Pac-Man's coming for coming for these kids. These kids are disadvantaged in every way. Yeah, they might be in school and they might be getting all three meals a day, but when they get out of school, they got to be on their own. Either their parents or the themselves are going to have to go on Social Security, and and then you might as well say uh, your your life is over when you're on Social Social Security or disability. Your life is over because you're not allowed to gain any extra. You're not allowed to make an extra dime without them knowing it. 
and any money you make, they, they take it out of your check. And then there's a possibility you would lose your medical, your state issued medical card that you get while being on welfare if you decide to try to make it out alive yourself. <clears throat> um, to all high schools of America, uh, from my experience, I don't like this country. I don't like what the, I, don't, I don't believe in what this country stands for. This is not a free nation. The free markets are predators against those with disabilities. I believe the uh, Social Security Administration is isolating us like they did did in, in the mental asylums back in the 60s. Um, I, I want to damn America for eternity. I wish God would send a lightning strike to this country and joke the, the, the crap out of the government. I think God needs to come down and wipe the earth clean and start over. Because he created a society that's not even worth living in. And, and to you students, you high school students out there, I want you to, to watch this. This may seem like a little bit of a rant to you, but this is very important. Don't get depressed like I did. Don't go out and curse and don't go out and do anything stupid, such as, you know, murdering somebody, but I did commit two misdemeanor offenses when I was uh, in my early 20s. I went into a department, a, uh, a department store. The name of that store is called Myers. Um, I went into the women's clothes aisle, tore a shirt off hanger. I think two or three shirts off the women clothes department ripped the shirts in half and threw the hangers in the, in, on the floor. And then I went into the grill section where they sell your grill utensils, you know, where you do the hamburgers on the grill stuff. I threw them utensils down the aisle and I ripped a few price tags. I am, I'm going to tell you now, I am ashamed of what I have done. But the reason why I've done that crime, I, I do admit I have done this on purpose. I did it to hopefully prove a point to the police to the police department in my jurisdiction. <clears throat> uh, I did this because I felt like I was being suppressed by the government, not being allowed to live my live life freely that I wanted, not being able to go out and work. My dream in high school was. To, to make the grade, graduate, get my diploma, go out and work, save a little money to live my life and hopefully save up and go travel. That's my dream. It still is today, even though I'm on welfare. <clears throat> I feel bad for you special ed teachers that have to teach these special needs students because you're, you're wasting your time. You guys are wasting your time. I truly believe you guys are wasting your time. Because these kids are not going to have a life after after high school. I'm going to tell you that right now. You, this is controversial. Yes, it is. I'm going to be controversial, and I want, and I kind of hope this hits the uh, CNN stuff. I really want national media getting a hold of this, and I may, I may forward this video to CNN. I, I'm thinking about it. People need to know how corrupt this government is, how corrupt society is. <laughs> this is not a free nation. <laughs> It's only free for the wealthy, uh, wealthy and the celebrities, okay? <clears throat> Those who are born in predominant families who are in wealth or, or riches are going are to have a chance at life. Those who are born in poverty with disabilities are going to be singled out and are going to be impoverished for the rest of their darn lives. They're not going to have no hopes, no dreams. They're not going to get to go nowhere. They're not going to get to more or less be sane. They're going to be mentally insane for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Uh, I believe you special education teachers are doing a good thing by teaching these students, but I, I just think you're wasting your time. And you need to kind of look at your job title. Do you really want to do this? Do you really want to waste your time teaching those with disabilities when these kids with disabilities would be better off in, be better off in the 1960s mental health asylum? <laughs> be locked away forever. I felt like I should be I should I should be locked away, but I'm not. I hate to say that I know these facilities abused patients, 
and these patients had lobotomies performed on them. But I wish I was in an asylum. I wish I was, because the government doesn't give a rat's about me at all. And I am a former student here in the state of Indiana. As I said, I graduated in 2007. I really feel bad for these special needs kids in today's society. Special needs is looked down upon by the government. They claim they want to help you, but they, they give you a very little handout to even help you strive on through life. You don't even have enough to pay rent, don't have enough to buy food, that you guys teach us how to balance a checkbook, but yet we're not allowed to balance a checkbook because we're not allowed to go out and make money. Now, some kids with disabilities may be able to go out and get a job, which I hope they do. I hope they overcome the odds and make it in school where they can present themselves in the workforce. I hope they can. Me, as I know, I've been labeled unfit to work for a very long time. But yet, I was forced to go to school. <laughs> this is somewhat of a motivational speech. I want this to go to every school in America. I'm going to label this as education on the YouTube category. I hope my viewers see this video. I hope, uh, and, uh, I, and I hope not to see no hate on this video. This is very important. I feel this is detrimental to those with special needs. This is detrimental in their lives. It may not be a very good video, but there's those swear words in there. I've kept it as clean as possible. I kept vulgarity out of it, so I use clean vocabulary suitable for the classroom. So I want you, you teachers, to, to look up this video. I'll try to title it the way you guys can uh, um, you guys can find it. I'm going to put to all schools of America, I mean all high schools of America. I'm going to put educational material permitted for all schools in America. Those with special needs need to know what the government's up to. <laughs> Me, I don't have a life. I don't have a life. And you guys are not going to have a life, neither depending on how severe your disability is and whether they decide your, your, your medical care professional decides to label you uh, special needs and decides to say that you need to be kept on Social Security for the rest of your life. Uh, and you guys are of age to, uh, like I said, I don't promote you guys to drop out, but if you're of age and you feel like you're not going to have a life and you want to drop out, that's your choice. <laughs> that's your darn choice. <clears throat> I don't care if your parents get mad at you, do what you believe. Because like I said, if you're special needs, you're not going to have a life. Which I hope you do have a life, but I I'm just telling you straightforward. From my experience, I'm not mentally, I mean, I'm not medically disabled, but in the mind I am. You guys just can't see it. Maybe you can't through my voice, I don't know, but this is bad. In, in a world that you have to pay for everything. You have to pay for everything, but yet you're not allowed to make any more than what the government gives you. I just don't understand. Everything's built on capitalism. This society needs a change, and I have to go to CNN go to national news and sell my store, I'll do it. <clears throat> Schools need to start teaching their special need kids what's going to happen to them when they get out of school. <clears throat> it's not going to be all glory like you guys dream it to be, like I dreamed it was going to be. That's why I went to Kings Island on my last year of school. Because I knew I was going to have a life, but no, oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> that Kings Island trip did, did not mean nothing. Yeah, I got to go on a few, I mean, I got to ride a few roller coasters and stuff like that and have a good time that day, yes. And I'm thankful to get to go on that, that senior trip, even up to this day, <clears throat> 10 years later. But you know what? That trip did not mean a darn thing. That trip was supposed to mean I, I, I achieved school. I have got to the end of high school I was going to graduate and thank goodness I was going to go out and get me a job be a working young adult and make money for my you know make money for myself and, and, and make and build a life but no I'm not allowed to do that I found out two weeks later by the government I was on I was on social security and I was not allowed to work no more I, I had to quit the job or actually I was terminated but <clears throat> I, I just wish I can put this out on national media. I want the, it's this out on national news. I want to be known. 
to the White House. I want to be known by the President Donald Trump. I want him to see this video, seeing how I feel. The government ain't doing the part here in the here in my law in my hometown state. You guys are not doing what you're supposed to do to make my life better. I can't help I got people like me can't help they got problems. They can't help that that they have shortcomings. They can't help they got disabilities. They can't help that they got medical conditions that disable them to work. <clears throat> my opinion, those with disabilities who are on welfare should be allowed to get a free gym membership and be allowed <clears throat> to be on food stamps regardless. Because that money is not going to pay for food or nothing. I hate to say it to schools in America, I hate to be an American. I really don't like being an American. I don't feel like I'm an American. I feel like I'm Citizen X. I'm unwanted or I'm, I'm the so-called identified patient. No doctor wants to mess with. Nobody wants to try to cure. Uh, there's nothing out there trying to cure learning disabilities. There should be something out there that needs. There needs to be research, research done on learning disabilities. What can they do to get that that learning difficulty out of your head? How can they get the uh, mental block out of, out of that head? Can they perform brain surgery? And do something, we wire your head somehow to where you become a normal education student where you can learn like everybody else. <clears throat> no, they're not putting money in that. They always put money into cancer. They're doing stuff that's, you know, serious, but not. <clears throat> I don't know, but uh, I just. Uh, one of these days I'm going to make a video that's going to go out, and, out on national TV. I think people who, who are subscribed to cable need to know what's going on with those with learning disabilities who are on government and government uh, services and are forced to take pa uh, taxpayers' money. <laughs> now, I'm sorry for you guys who pay taxes into Social Security. I'm sorry I had to take your taxes. I was forced on disability. I, I don't, uh, it's not my choice. The government chose, chose it for me. Um, but you guys should continue to pay in Social Security regardless because there's a lot of people out there that still need to be put on it and those I'm sure are who are on it probably that don't need to be on it need to be taken off of it so um, I think they're putting too many people on disability or, 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 or SSI you know than what they need to be doing so <laughs> yes I got I got a few shortcomings but there are jobs I could perform tasks I could do at hand I didn't go to school to be dumb and that's another thing too I think special education makes you dumber than what you really are so I'm going to put this video up on YouTube this week and I hope all the school districts will find this to be appropriate enough to uh, show in the classroom and I want you guys to watch it through its entirety. I don't care uh, see how long it is. Okay, it's going on a 20 minute video, okay? Surely you guys got class time. Uh, I would recommend the teacher to show this to students when there's not really a, a very big lesson plan or there's like say you don't really have a lesson plan or after you guys take a quiz or a test or something I would hope that your educator would pull allow you guys to watch this video <clears throat> and actually I think I'll upload this video to my former school and let them watch to see what they think about it I would love to call my former guidance counselor and tell her how I feel <clears throat> that school is just a waste of time for me. I mean, yes, I learned the basics of life. Yes, I learned how to add and subtract. I learned how to read and write. I learned all the basic education, but I, I didn't need to do it for 13 years. I did not need to do it for no 13 years. I wasted 13 years of my childhood in school. But you students, finish school. Don't drop out, finish school and get your diploma because you never know things may change and the government may be more lenient on us with disabilities let's hope in in the coming years but I think as I know it my life is now over so uh, I want to wish you guys a, a day of happy uh, a day of happy education I hope you guys do well on your tests you do well on your on your assignments and uh, just do your homework get, and make the grades get get good grades and do what you need to do to graduate okay um, Enjoy your school years while you got them, because when you become an adult, things change a major way. So, 
And if you're not careful, the wolves will eat you up and spit you out in the form of a bag of bones. So you just you just remember society is not nice as the education system wants you to believe. There are not a lot of nice people out there anymore. A lot of the nice generation folks are gone. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of narcissists out there, so you need to be careful on who you talk to and who you meet. I mean, everything's done by, by Snapchat these days. Everything's done by Instagram, done by Twitter. There's no such thing as going to a bar or going to, uh, going to a library and meeting, you know, meeting somebody and going out with somebody. It's just completely different. <laughs> so, you students that graduate this year, just, just go out in the world. Be careful. Don't, don't do any risky behavior. I wouldn't do. It, it, do talk to your family. Talk to your parents about if you're if you're learning to say what ask them about Social Security. I said, am I on disability? If I am, am I going to be a lot of work when I get out of high school? Ask them that. And they say no. Then maybe you need to talk to your school. Maybe reconsider what you're doing in your life. All right. I want to wish all you staff members the best of luck. I uh, hope um, I hope this video ain't too controversial. Uh, like I said, I, I'm I'm planning on going national with this stuff. I'm planning on making up a decent story. I'm gonna go to CNN see if I can sell my story because something needs to get out to the government. Something needs to be done. I'm getting fed up the way I have lived, lived my life as a former student. I I don't deserve to be treated this way at all by the government or by society and nature. So. You guys have a good uh, good day at school and just peace out. And thank you, teachers, for uh, for for teaching your uh, students. Uh, I'm sure your school district will uh, commemorate your service at the end of the year. And good day. Bye.